OWASP ZAP API HTTP session setup. I'm trying to create a script using the node ZAP SDK. The script needs to perform an active scan of the site on localhost while signed in as a super admin. If no user is signed in, it can only reach about three of the 50 or so available pages. I have the entire script working, except for signing in as the user. Now, when I do this in the Zap desktop client, I just open up Firefox and sign into the site myself and the session is automatically set up as an HTTP session and I'm trying to duplicate that using the API. Here is what I currently have. There's a lot more to the script, but this is the session creation. If I call for the active session after this, I get a response of Zap underscore session like I would expect. But when I run it and log all cookies in my application, no cookies are passed to the site and both the spider and active scan fail to scan anything beyond the login page. I've managed to get it working a few times, but it only ever works for one run and then fails every subsequent run. It seems to work when also removing the session before create empty session, but that doesn't consistently happen either. Does anyone have any insight into what the correct process for this is? The API documentation is extremely poor and I've had trouble finding any examples of this online anywhere, even using other languages. It seems strange to me that I need to make four plus API calls to set a single session token which makes me feel I am completely wrong with my approach, but I just have nothing to judge myself against. I just open up Firefox and sign into the site myself. This can actually cover a huge multitude of sins. There is no one standard way that websites implement authentication, there are lots. While we would love Zap to be able to understand all of them we just don't have enough people to implement that. Which means that you will need to understand how your application authenticates you. If it is a simple form then it might be relatively straightforward. Have a look at https colon slash slash www.zaproxy.org slash fax slash how dash can dash zap dash automatically dash authenticate dash via dash form slash. If it is more complicated then Zap should still be able to handle it but we'll need more info. I've started covering authentication in the Zap in 10 videos, https colon slash slash www.alldaydevops.com slash zap dash in dash 10. If you need more help the Zap user group is probably a better forum, https colon slash slash groups.google.com slash group slash zaproxy dash users.